Hello race fans and welcome back to my rookie's guide to the Gran Turismo Academy. Now, I got through the first round and I realised the challenge that I'm up against. I have a feeling, going into round two, which is opened uh, well, today, today is Tuesday that I'm recording this, it is opened today and I have great cause for optimism for round two because, as you can see, uh, it's the Nismo GT3 Team RJN version of the Nissan GTR we drove in the first round, but more crucially is the location. Because yes, we have moved from Silverstone to Brands Hatch. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell Brands Hatch I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away the missed apexes of yesterday. And now my kingdom awakes and they will forgive me for hitting the cones. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell Brands Hatch I am coming home. Traction control down to nothing. Uh, da -da. ABS, yes, we leave that on this time because we can. And then we go back and uh, let's jump straight into it, shall we? Let's go. Right, coming up to Panicle Bend for the first time. You really can't see the apex until very late, and then you go and then you plunge down the hill and up to the fearsome Drew's hairpin for the first time. Late on the brakes if you dare, and then you gotta really crank the wheel round. Plenty of cones, I can see many of them going for a burton. Then we belt it off of Druids, go a bit wide, then come down towards Graham Hill Bend, which is actually a very tough corner. Catches a lot of people out, IRL. Oh, and up on the rumble strip. Oh, well, I think the track limits rules are a bit more flexible this time round. And then here we go, up through Surtees and up onto the wall, onto the oof, bit wide there, up onto the back straight and up through Pilgrim's Drop for the first time. This is a very fierce, this is the longest straight on the circuit. Get up to top speed down here, probably about 150 miles an hour by the end of the straight, we'll see. Yep, 150 miles an hour. And now I'm braking for, I think this is Hawthorns. Yes, it is Hawthorns. I get confused with the corners around the back section. I know up here, this is not Sheen Curve, that's the next one. You just, oh, you just, there's another corner, you can't see the apex. And now down the Dingle Dell Drop, over there on the left is, as I said in my F1 2013 video, the place I used to break in as a child. That's gone wrong. And if I was a child watching right now, I'd be laughing because I've just completely stacked it on the approach to Sheen Curve. At the very least, the laps are a bit shorter. They're about 30 seconds shorter. So if you make a mistake, there's less of that sort of Ugh, to before coming around to try again. It's like, do you remember on Grand Turismo 4? It was one of those one lap magic things and it was on the Nordschleife and it was like, you had to wait every single time about five minutes to finally go and then you'd go for a 10 minute lap only to mess up the challenge on the final corner of the lap and then have to go through all of that again i mean that was just i think most of the controllers or steering wheels that were broken whilst playing the grand Turismo series were broken doing that challenge and we come up to here we come up to here we come up to here there you go keep it on the stuff this time there's sheen curve there you go that's better but we're not going to get gold on this first lap i think we're going to get a bronze or we might get a silver here might get it no not quite a silver yeah, I got a bronze. That's cool. This track is about one of those tracks which really rewards you when you just go a bit beyond where you think you can. I'm already two tenths up on this lap, so I should be on for a silver medal time. Whoa! All over the rumble strip there. That's so close. Oh! Feel the power coming on. Goodness me. It's like trying to ride a four-wheeled motorbike. Oh, just missed the silver medal time by three hundredths of a second. Right, I think it is time to... Head back to the, head back to the, uh, head back to the pits with a cup of tea, and kill some cones. There we go. <laughs> right, let's dive into the online rankings and see just how terrible I am. My goal for this series is to get into the top 1,000 in the world. I think that's optimistic. I'm 9,393rd, and we're on the first day. So right, let's go uh, up a bit. And the top time so far is a 1 minute 21.9. So let's have a look at his replay, shall we? Early on the gas there, down. To Oh, he's really backing in on each corner and up to third in the middle of the corner. See, that's interesting. I wonder if he's going up to third gear early to counter the uh, wheel spin. I think he might be, you know. Last, last break. He doesn't even change down. Are you kidding me? He doesn't change down there. Now, how on earth does he do? Oh, look how close he stays out there. That's how close. He doesn't change down through um, Sheen Curve. Finally, he changed down here. Oh, my word. Right, well, this is intensity in 10 cities compared to where I've been so far. It is time to wreck havoc and let's slip the dogs of war once again. And now just only through four through here. And now up here, wait till the last break marker, then don't change down at all. Really give it a lot of steer. Oh, and this up here, steady, steady. You've got to use the brake to back it in somehow. It is like, it is like driving like Mark Marquez right now. I've just remembered my strategy from the last round, which seemed to work quite well. Aim for the cones and then just miss the cones. Aim for the cone. There you go. What? Oh, what the? 
You bastard. Yeah, you wonder why I kill so many cones. Look at them. Just sitting there ruining my laps. That is so difficult. You just go, where's the apex? Where's the apex? There's the apex and I missed it. It's like as soon as you see the apex, you've already missed it. That's, oh God. Oh my, what the? Oh, fuck you. It is like trying to steer Godzilla around the gym course. Well, it is Godzilla. This car is Godzilla. It is like trying to steer Godzilla around an assault course. I just saw how close the car was to the outside. But I've also seen how much quicker I'm going this lap. So, all of this death of many cones is having an impact. Here we go. Coming up to the line. We should be getting a goal this lap. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Right. I'm going to keep going. Fuck okay, it, I'm on a... Uh, no, no, I'm uh, kind of not. I just, there's no, not going to happen. Right, let's find me some cones to kill. There you are, you bastards, die! There you go. Hey, there you go, much better. So, I'm already down to 1 minute 27.2. That is, I'm at 29, 1. I'm, what you're about to hear me do, ladies and gentlemen, is math. 22.9, 5.3 seconds down. That's, that's better, that's an improvement. And the dogs of war are ready to let slip once again. Or rather, the Gojiras of war. Gojira. He really is aggressive in using the brakes and the... Oh! I'm just aggressively terrible. Hi. Oh, bollocks. 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 Massive nods. M humongous, great, sweaty ball sacks. That's what I tell you. You focus so much on Paddock Hill and Druids. Because they're the really tough corners. And then Graham Hill comes up and just smacks you around the face just when you're done. It's a bit like that corner cashes money in the bank right after you've just beaten off Paddock Hill and Druids. Graham, and, Graham Hill Ben suddenly cashes money in the bank and smacks him in the face and takes the World Championship off you. Oh! Oh my, that's... I don't think I could have missed that corner by any more had I been in another country. Oh, bastard! You utter bastard! Oh, the bug's got me now. The bugs got me. Oh, that's just bollocks. That is so bollocks. That was just massive, sweaty. Look at those people up. Look! He's giving me the finger for fuck's sake. Look at him. He's laughing at me. Piss off. I don't want any photos. Dickheads. Yeah, this is a bit like, yeah, those old frustrating old games. But unlike Days of Thunder, it's not frustrating because the game is shit and wants you to just fail at every opportunity. It's because real life motor racing is very fucking difficult and I'm not a racing driver but I'm trying to prove that I might be able to damn it I feel like this is the training montage in one of the Rocky films you know the very first one where he's not given any chance at all this is his like training montage this is like the, this is like Buckaroo Godzilla edition where not only does Buckaroo throw everything off his back he then turns around and eats you nevertheless I am going to go quicker I am going to go quicker yeah that's better that is better oh right Time to kill some cones. There we go. Oh, you have to really be some kind of special nut job to be a race driver, don't you? And this is not even IRL. I'm back. Just topped up my water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've basically... I, I think I'm going to set a new record in this video of I'm going to be the first person that has managed to crash at every single corner at Brands Hatch in under an hour. <sighs> no wonder race drivers have a sort of hedonistic, well, used to have a hedonistic lifestyle. All the pain and frustration and jubilation that went into just driving a car, let alone winning a race. They needed all that alcohol and loose women and sometimes drugs after races. I'd love to see James Hunt's reaction to this challenge. Well, fuck those cones. They're just, they're just kind of wankers, to be honest. Do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check something here. Whether I actually am on racing hard tyres or not, because it really feels like I'm not. If I am, I mean, that will just that will just be that, really. Yeah, that's racing hard tyres? My God. What? Okay, Grand Street Mercury. Academy. What have you done with the normal GTRs? I'm still 2,170th in the world. Which I, that's pretty good. Um, I know it's early on, so a lot of people probably haven't even logged in yet. So I'm probably going to be down in about the 5 millionth position by the end of the day. But never mind. That's, that's, I'm not helping myself here. Look, I'm just beating myself up. Right. From this day forward, no more self-deprecation, no more Clarkson-style ambitious but rubbish. I am going to do this. I can do it. Well, maybe I can't, but I can. I am here to... 
This whole series is for me to enjoy myself and see just how far a regular Joe gamer can make it in this academy. What I'm going to do is watch the second place guy's lap time to see if he does things slightly differently than TRL Evolution. Might be a driving style thing, so maybe the Evolution's a super aggressive driver and I just can't do that style, so let's see what we can do here. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my word, are you kidding me? Any chance of him being less aggressive? I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to study the corner speed. I've been studying the gears to study the corner speed. This is all letting me know kind of what speed to really get the gas on. Because I think right now I'm braking and then going, Oh my god, I've got to turn in now. And immediately getting back to the gas and just pushing myself out wide. Right, about 70. My, my god, does this guy think he's at a Formula Drift event? I was always taught growing up that sideways is slower. Obviously, that was total bullcrap. I hope you know, ladies and gentlemen, right now my brain is currently melting out of my ears. It's basically, you know when you open about five different programs on your computer at once and your computer's just sat there like completely frozen like, What? 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 I can't cope with all of this. That's my brain right now. It's just like... Pfft. It is currently melting out of my nostrils and onto my microphone as I speak. One final time. Let's let slip the dogs of war upon Brand's hatch. All that stuff. You know all that stuff I was saying there about remembering the speed? It's all gone. It's all gone. It's just fallen out. Yep, bye. That was just a passing visit. If you want that to stay in your brain, you're going to have to read that about five more times, mate. And you haven't. Oh! <laughs> okay. That was mildly terrifying. I just nearly did a Rob Austin. Right, so I'm not going to be breaking any lap records this time. I'm not even in fact, let's just push the cone. A die. There you go. Three and one go. Strike! I think there does come a point where it's like, you're not going to get any better in this section to so just walk away. I think I've hit that. Oh, fuck off! Well, we've made a bit of a game there. Let's see if I can keep it together through the rest of the lap now. That's the pro It's up here where I just... Like, the apex is over there and then just completely miss it. I'm nowhere near it. Oh, you bastard! Fuck! Fuck! on to go quicker that lap as well. I feel like this is becoming one of those like fake rage videos on YouTube. You know, where they're like, oh, let's put a scare cam in the top right. No. And what you're hearing, ladies and gentlemen, is genuine annoyance and pain right now. This is... I've hit the barrier. I've hit the barrier. And the only way through is to smash your head against it repeatedly. Because so many, many of these guys have just been done it for so many years. They just come straight out of the box and they're like, yeah, I'm awesome. I don't even have to try it. I am awesome. Whereas I'm like, trying really hard not to just be rubbish. And we're up two tenths this time. It's just the back part. That just, that, this bit right up here just is what kicks my face in. There you go. That's a bit better. That was a bit better. I was at least in touching distance of the apex that time. And then up through here. Yes. Yes. Got that corner right. Oh. Ho, ho. Up four tenths. Right. Come on. Just keep it clean. Come on. Am I going to go faster? I think I'm going to go faster. I think I'm going to go faster. Yes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take that. But I think I am really now starting to hit the wall where only a lot of practice and a lot of trial and error is going to get me through. I'm going to go away, have a look at the force feedback settings, see if they can be tweaked, have a read of a few more guides online, and hopefully something's going to sink in. Because as I say, I watched those replays, and then as soon as I went back out on the track, I forgot everything I just learned. It was like being back in GCSE maths exams. Literally, it was like everything you've learned has just completely left the building. It's just gone and it's just run away. And uh, you're on your own, mate. Good luck. Try not to fail too hard. And uh, as you saw, I did fail quite a few times. I'm going to keep at this challenge. I am determined. I'm committed. I'm committed. So I will continue and keep at it. And if you guys have any suggestions, advice to help me out here, any little tips you've noticed, uh, please post them below. Uh, don't just post your lap time and how it's much better than mine because that's just not going to help me at all And I'm going to kind of hate you for that um, Share this video and like it and stuff and I'll see you very soon Hopefully for slightly less swearing and slightly more speed here at Brands Hatch where I have come home and my house is in ruins <laughs> I'll see you next time